Yo, what's going on people? You man Zeus is back and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a PC build video. Uh, so this one is going to be a cheap PC gaming build video and it's going to be on the website cyberpowerpc.com and if you want to build it on your own, which is going to save you a lot of money, potentially a couple hundred dollars, uh, go to a website called pcpartpicker.com. Uh, you put in the parts that we talked about in this video and you can buy them on some other websites like Amazon Newegg and put the PC together yourself. So now for cyber P cyberpowerpc.com, for those who want to buy it pre-built, uh, those who uh, are afraid that they're going to make a mistake when building the computer and they just want to have it someone uh, do it for them and ship it to them or someone who wants like a, a quality assurance slash uh, warranty from a company in case it breaks or something, they want to have someone who's responsible for it other than themselves, which is actually not a bad idea to buy it from uh, like CyberPower in case something happens, you can take it back to them, whatever, whatever. So... For this cheap gaming PC build video, <clears throat> we're going to be going with a AMD platform, okay? So normally for a cheap gaming PC build video, I would tell you to go with an AMD uh, CPU, uh, an AMD system. But if you're willing to spend a little bit more, which is a mid-range build video, uh, you want to go with an uh, Intel processor. And if you want, I might make a video on a mid-range build video. If you want me to make one of those, leave me, leave me a comment below. So let's see what they have for AMD processors. So these are the bulldozer processors, the FX ones, and they aren't really that great, um, you know, but they're budget. I mean, it's a budget PC, so it's nothing really to worry about. Um, and let's see over here, back to school 2012, AMD FX 4100, four gigabytes of RAM, 500 gig hard drive. Let's go with this one. So this is the back to school 2012. They're always going to have some, you know, sale or deal, whatever. So whenever they have a deal, just go for that and uh, save yourself a couple bucks. So for the case, we don't really need anything special. Uh, this one should do. If you want to upgrade, I would go with the 912. This one, Cooler Master Half 912, but you don't really need to. That's another $13. You don't really need to spend. So moving on, where is the processor? CPU. Okay, so they have the FX4100, uh, which is this one right here. That's the one they include. I, um, you know, I suggest that you either go up to this one. Look at this right here, $10. Uh, free upgrade from 6100 That's $10 to upgrade to an 8-core processor. I would either go with that CPU or I would go to this one, which is a new uh, one of these over here. Oh, this one's only... Uh, ten dollars more or ten dollars less sweet so we can go with this one the six core AMD uh, new processor it says right new AMD effects processor which is the pile driver processors I believe and that pause I just had was because my phone said I uploaded a video I had uploaded a iPad mini rent <laughs> but anyways uh, sweet they give you a free liquid cooling system if you don't want that you can go with the certified uh, CPU uh, stock uh, fan and heat sink but I say just stay, stick with it because you might want to do some overclocking later on. Move on. Moving on. Motherboard, don't really worry too much about that because it's, just to be basic with it, it's pretty much compatibility issues when you when, it, when you talk about motherboard. So do you want USB 3? Do you want SATA 3? Uh, do you want all these features? And if you do, then you want to go with a motherboard that has those features. Do you want Crossfire? Do you want SLI? Uh, but if you want a, just a basic motherboard, uh, you don't really have to worry about it too much. I would just stick with the one they give you. Look, it has Crossfire X, it has USB 3, it has 7.1 audio, it has SATA 3. Uh, it has everything you pretty much need. ATX motherboard, you don't really need anything more. Uh, if you want, you can step up to this one, which is 5 bucks more, which has Crossfire and SLI compatibility, which seems like a really good deal right now. Or you can go with this other Gigabyte one. Uh, but this one is compatible with Crossfire or SLI if you want to change, uh, if you want to do that down the line. So we'll just go with this one since it's only $5 more, not a big deal. And they're giving you some freebies here. Uh, moving on. Memory. Uh, I mean, I say 8 gigabytes, okay? 8 gigabytes, excuse me, 8 gigabytes is that sweet spot. You don't want to have too much memory because then you're just wasting money. And you don't want to have too little memory because then your computer is going to be running slow. So you could go with this four gigabytes. Four gigabytes is not a bad amount of memory, to be honest. Uh, two big gigabytes is really bad. Four gigabytes is borderline okay. Uh, if you're really on a budget and you don't want to spend the extra thirty dollars to go with eight gigabytes, stick with four gigabytes. And since this is a budget build, we're gonna stick with the four. If you want to get another four gigabytes, you can get it really cheap online, like Newegg. You can get um, 
for the price of this eight gigabyte kit uh, right here. You can keep this four gigabyte memory model modules that they give you, and you can go ahead uh, buy <coughs> excuse me buy eight gigabytes of RAM for thirty dollars online and sell the four gigabytes that you have for like five dollars or ten dollars or whatever. If you don't want to sell, it, just keep it. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Or if you just want to buy another four gigabytes for like twenty bucks and add it to this one, you could do that. Because upgrading memory is very very simple. Moving on to the graphics card. Okay, so the graphics card could be very very expensive. Now, if you want to be running Battlefield 3, uh, Crisis 3, Crisis 2, Crisis 3 when it comes out, obviously, Crisis 2, those big, uh, heavy games, then you can't spend six, seven hundred dollars on a build. You're gonna spend, you gotta spend around eight to nine hundred. Yes, you can go with a really cheap one and run it on the lowest settings, but it's not really fun to play them on the lowest settings. The, the fun thing about those games is, is experiences in the graphics that they have to offer. So, uh, since this is a budget build, for the sake of this budget, we are going to see the best price that they have for these cards, and usually it's AMD that has better value. So let's see, they have 7770 for 60 more dollars, the 7850 for 160. Whew, that's a lot of money, man. Uh, I think we should stick with the 7770. It's not a bad graphics card, it's pretty good, and it's not too expensive for this build. Let's see what else will they have over here. A 650 Ti for 57 more dollars. If you're willing to spend those 57 more dollars, Go for the 650 Ti. Trust me. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else that's really cheap that we can put into this thing? A 650 for $31 more. Uh, but if you can afford the 650 Ti for $57 more, go with that. And uh, if you're building this PC on your own, just go ahead on PC Part Picker and do this, uh, you know, do this on your own and build it. See, look. You have a 7770, you can get the Pitcam Verde, whatever the heck that thing is. Pitcam Verde, uh, you can get that for free. Or if you have the 650 Ti, you can get Assassin's Creed 3. Sweet, that's a good deal, man. Uh, so you know what, screw that, let's go with a 650 Ti. Let's see. 650 Ti, two gigs, and you're also gonna get free Assassin's Creed 3. That's a good deal, man. Because the game itself is sixty dollars, and if you want, and if you wanted to buy that either way, that's a darn good deal. Okay, now power su <laughs> power supply. Uh, honestly, I say go with one of these, the Corsair cheap ones, because Corsair is known to be a good power, good brand. This is a cheap uh, budget build, so you don't want to go all out with a uh, seven fifty uh, HX uh, or AX Corsair power supply like a crazy. $100, $120 power supply, because you don't really need that with this graphics card. So I say stick with this 500 watt Corsair uh, power supply. It's going to be way more than enough. I mean, look at this one. Suggested is 380 watts, and usually power, power, blah, 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 cyber power PC is way off, but I'm here to tell you that 500 watts is going to be plenty for this build. Moving on. Hard drive. If you want to spend extra for a solid state drive, do it, but this is a budget build, so stick with this hard drive. It's not bad. To, oh, look at this. 6 gigabyte per second. That's way faster than a 3 gigabyte per second. Uh, for $2 more. Go with that one. Okay, let's see. Da, da, da. That's it. Solid state drives. That's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys learned from this video. Uh, I hope you... Well, before I stop the video, CD drive, audio, it's all good. It's all fine. And I'm pretty sure they include a uh, keyboard and mouse with this thing. Not those, because those are expensive. But I'm pretty sure they'll include a keyboard and mouse. And according to these reviews, looks like this is a good PC. Looks like they have, uh, uh, you know, reliability. I guess looks like they're reliable, but who knows? Uh, but if you're willing to build this, build this PC on your own, it'll probably cost you hundred dollars less. But for Cyber Power PC, it's six hundred and sixty dollars. That's not a lot amount of money for a really good PC. You're talking six core AMD processor. You're talking a six fifty Ti two gigabyte superclocked version. You're talking a five hundred gig hard drive. This computer is gonna last you. It's gonna be a good computer. Uh, so I hope you guys learned from this video. Let me know what you think in a comment. Leave a rating, leave a favorite, leave a like. Check out my Twitter. Check out my... <laughs> Man, do I love talking fast. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe for more. And if you want to see more build videos, let me know. I'll upload them. See you guys later.